Hello my dear friends I am Jyotir with Pavan Kumar These days everybody is tensed up and people are forwarding messages a lot of these messages are creating sort of tension all around people are talking about a deadly virus well <clears throat> there's nothing to be so anxious so worried so fearful and the best thing to cope with all these things is to follow the general rules of hygiene wash your hands properly and all other general rules of hygiene take care of your health and if you have any health condition take medication whatever required in time <clears throat> not only take care of yourself but take care of others around you but my dear friends i am making this video <clears throat> to draw your attention to something very important which very few people are focusing on why it is happening why negative things are happening all around very few people care to think deeply let me tell you <clears throat> that thought is energy thought is energy so it radiates see we need a <clears throat> lot of power to radiate radio waves right but radio waves are coarse vibrations so they require a lot of energy a lot of power to cover long distances but our thought is very very high frequency is a subtle vibration <clears throat> so it can travel even the cosmic distances in no time you must have heard about telepathy telepathy doesn't work only on short distances but if you are telepathic you can communicate with anyone even at the far ends of this cosmos instantly it doesn't take time so <clears throat> thought is very important you all must have <clears throat> heard a lot of time that you are what your thoughts are but you never focus on the fact that your thoughts are not only confined to yourself only they radiate they propagate and then they add on to an invisible cloud of collective thought if there are 700 <clears throat> crores of people populating this earth and if you are generating negative thoughts they are adding up to a collective 
thought cloud which is there and that collective thought whichever way it goes positive or negative at the moment it is too negative and that affects world events which are not in an individual's hand other than the individual can purify one's thoughts and add good not bad not evil to this cloud of collective thought it takes long time it all started not recently but way back in 1802 when the industrial revolution started in europe gradually the greed the greed for more gave way to other negative traits like envy jealousy lust in order to fulfill one's greed which is never ending and what happens <coughs> On the macro level, things reach point of no return. My dear friends, still there is time, still there is time. Even if a few people start radiating consciously good thoughts, positive thoughts and follow positive thoughts, positive thinking in their lives, they can do a lot good to the world. So my dear friends, the cause of present day ills, all the talk about the so called deadly virus, this is a virus of negative thinking deadly virus. It is a deadly virus of collective thought which has become too negative. A well-known poet William Wordsworth wrote a poem <clears throat> way back in 1802 <clears throat> when he saw that the world is becoming too materialistic. You must google it and uh, <clears throat> read this poem. This is, the world is too much with us, late or soon. So my dear friends, <clears throat> our sages, even the present day sages like uh, uh, the Tibetan Lama, Tuesday Lops and Grandpa, had warned us, but only few people give attention. People don't give attention to all these things. He had warned. The way things are going, humanity is standing on the crossroads since a long time. And Lops and Grandpa has written, the right path is, as clo is close at hand. The right path is close at hand, yet mankind searches it afar. People are confused and the reason for that is they don't have time to sit in a quiet place, do some breathing and do some meditation, introspect. Because <clears throat> you are not an individual, you are individual, okay, as, as far as your personal matters are concerned. But you are affecting other people. All are connected. All life on this earth is connected in a secret way, in a mystic way. So my dear friends, what you can do at this moment is give more time to self. Sit calmly in a calm place. Burn a stick of thick incense that helps to raise the vibrations of your place and will help you to cultivate good thoughts, 
cultivate good thoughts get rid of negative traits greed and lust and all that envy radiate good thoughts love others and try to return to nature you can live happily even with little money but if you have more money more wealth and you think you are going to be happy no you are wrong you won't be able to take even a penny with you on the other side of life after death but you will take all the knowledge <clears throat> and all the good traits with you which will help you to reincarnate in a better place to have more bliss blissful life so my dear friends what is needed at this time it is a crucial time for all humanity what is needed is at the individual level you give time to yourself sit down calmly meditate radiate good thoughts and do good to others help others not only with money but with care and attention okay whatever help is required by other people if you can help in any way you will be radiating unconditional love which is what god created us for so my dear friends this virus in the medical sense is i don't say that it is not there it may be there but the deadliest devil and deadliest uh, virus is the collective thought so it starts with your thought so cultivate good thoughts purify your thoughts sit down radiate good thoughts love others don't spread hatred even our leaders are spreading hatred these days that is a shame but you can do your part well i hope this will help you to understand the present day situation and start contributing your positivity your positive uh efforts in this direction you will be blessed thank you for watching